Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. My name is Zain and you are watching my YouTube channel Learn Math. In today's video I will explain this mathematical fallacy. Proof of 1 is equal to minus 1. But before starting like the video and if you are new on my channel please subscribe it. What is a mathematical fallacy? A mathematical fallacy is an assumption or a series of steps which is seemingly correct but contains a flat argument is called a mathematical fallacy. People are trying to prove it by two methods. The first method is 1 is equal to square root of 1. We will suppose this and after that we can write 1 is equal to minus 1 multiplied by minus 1. After that you can write square root of minus 1 whole square. Then you cancel the square root with the square and you get minus 1. This is the proof by first method. The second method is we will take the same supposition like 1 is equal to square root of 1 then we can write it like the same minus 1 into minus 1 and then you split it square root of minus 1 multiplied by square root of minus 1 then square root of minus 1 is equal to iota so you put iota here and we get this iota into iota is equal to iota square which is equal to minus 1. These are the two proofs people are using to prove this mathematical fallacy. But now I will explain you where are the mistakes in these proofs. Look at the proof by first method. In this proof, where is the mistake? The supposition 1 is equal to square root of 1 is wrong. We cannot suppose square root of 1 is equal to 1 like this. This supposition is wrong. Why? The correct version of this equality is plus minus 1 is equal to square root of 1. Square root of 1 is equal to plus minus 1. So square root of 1 is either 1 or square root of 1 is equal to minus 1. Similarly, square root of 4 is equal to plus minus 2. So you cannot write 2 is equal to square root of 4 and then square root of 4 is equal to minus 2. By this way, 2 is not equal to minus 2. So this supposition is wrong. You cannot suppose it like this. But there is also another problem in the second proof. Look at the second proof. In this proof, the supposition is also wrong. But there is another mistake, this one. Square root of minus 1 into minus 1 cannot be written like this. This supposition is wrong. Why? Because the property square root of AB is equal to square root of A into square root of B in this property, there is a condition on AB and this property only holds for non-negative real numbers A and B. Both A and B must be greater than or equal to zero, then this property holds. Otherwise, it does not hold. So both the proof by two methods are wrong and we cannot prove it like this. One is equal to minus one. It's not possible. I hope you learn something from this video. Like it. Share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.